Welcome to the first introduction to Dynamic Media Player. As soon as you start Dynamic Media Player, immediately it begins scrolling through movies, network TV, and cable TV. You can immediately click on a movie or a program, and as soon as you hear the audio, off to the right, click full screen. To exit full screen, you can either press the escape button, or if you drag your cursor down to the lower right, there's an icon you can click to minimize the screen. Advanced Media Player is now Dynamic Media Player. Quite a few changes have been added. Of course we still have the Movies Link, the Action Adventure, Science Fiction, Horror and Suspense, the new added Adult Channel, Musicals, Popular Videos, Comedy, Animation and Cartoons, Network and Cable, new releases, and of course you can search for whatever your heart desires. House has become one of my favorites. I'm going to type in house in the search, click the, uh, press the enter button, and here are some episodes of house. Now you can see up here, this is page one, we can go to page two, page 21, or even farther. There are several seasons, several episodes. Let's just click one and see what happens. Press the escape button, and let's go to movies. Immediately, a list of movies is brought to our attention. We can click the left or right scroll buttons to scroll through the shows, or you can drag the scroll bar down. You can go through movies this way. If you haven't seen enough, you can click more, or you can scroll through by pages. Let's jump to page 11. Enter the Ninja. And of course you can stream this to your big screen TV and surround sound. That's just a quick introduction to the dynamic media player. Keep in mind, there is absolutely no need to put out the cash for a digital box. Watch what you want, when you want at bananasmack.com and it's always free